99 Shohei Otani is finally here, and I collected 26 Takashi cards to unlock him. I wasn't sure if they were going to go with the Takashi card art or the finest card art, but once we saw that there was going to be another Takashi collection, we all kind of knew. And honestly, I'm happy they went this route. Now, as far as the card itself, really good on the pitching front, I think. They did make his slider his primary pitch. And of course, he has outlier on his four-seam fastball. The real thing to talk about here, in my opinion, is the hitting. Because I don't think they made him quite as good of a hitter as I expected them to. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's bad by any means. I'm just saying for 99 Otani, a collection that requires all of these Takashi cards. He's the cover athlete. I thought they would maybe juice him a little bit more. But enough talking about him. Let's get him out on the field. You know I got him in the leadoff spot. Hold on. I'm facing Kershaw. Wait, people actually use this Kershaw card? Not the pitcher I would have expected to see today. Get through there. Get through there. No. No. Why does Jose Altuve have to ruin everything? I'm off the PCI. He's got to run a long way for that. Is that going to get down? Oh, he didn't catch it. Oh, thank God, dude. He made that close. Thank you, Babe Ruth. That ball is crushed. We're getting a run for Otani. Shohei on the bump now. I've already got him down to two strikes. Let's start off with the hook early. Let's go with the curveball in the dirt. See you, Griffey. The slider as the primary pitch on this card is really interesting. Also, I know there were a lot of people out there hoping that maybe they would have given this Otani a sinker because he was kind of throwing like a sinker type pitch in real life. I didn't really think they would go that route. I kind of felt like it would be the same as all the other cards, but yeah, the slider as the primary is weird. Oh my god, this guy swings at everything. This is going to be the perfect guy to debut Otani against. Come on, Otani. Get Babe Ruth right here. Come on. Got him. Hey, things are lining up for Shohei in this pitching debut, man. So in the comments, let me know what you guys think about this Otani card. Do you think he's good? Do you think he's underwhelming? Do you expect to unlock him? As much as I love Shohei Otani and I love using his cards in the game, uh, I personally would say that if you're not close to getting Otani, if you don't have the 26 Takashi cards or you're thinking about selling some to make some stubs or whatever. I personally don't think this card is legitimately a must-have on your lineup. I think you can wait on this Otani, especially with a lot of the pitchers that we have now. That new Jacob deGrom, of course, we've got Sandy Alcantara, you got that Corbin Burns. Like, there's a lot of good pitchers. I don't think Shohei Otani right now is a must-have. As much as that pains me to say, I wanted this guy to be, like, insane across the board. I think you can get away with not having him. I would not go out of control on the Takashi cards to unlock him today. Manny! Manny! Oppo! Let's go! Two outs. Manny Machado gives Shohei a chance now. Come on, Kershaw. Inside fastball, please. No! No! Oh my god, can I get that pitch back, please? That was literally a home run pitch, man. Whatever, as long as Otani still throws a gem, it's okay. He doesn't need to do anything at the plate. There we go. First ball, he's put in play, right? I know some of you guys are probably wondering, am I going for the one of one parallel five? I'm going about this exactly the same as I did with Mike Trout. I am going to get Shohei Otani to parallel five, probably tonight considering pitchers are significantly quicker to fully level up but i know i'm not gonna go for the one of one. Oh, this is gonna be a tough play for machado come on come on come on man he's making plays going back to the parallel five talk for a second i have every other otani to parallel five already so i have to get this card there to complete that entire otani set and i will be doing a video with all five Super Fractor Otani. Back on the bump. Let's go, Shohei. One, two count. What is he looking for? I feel like he's going to look for like a fastball or a cutter. I'm going to drop a splitter, hopefully right on the plate. Knew it. Let's go, dude. This poor guy hit the seams off that ball and they gave him an out, bro. Two, two count. Where do I go here? He's been way more patient this inning. He's actually like taking pitches, working the count. Fastball high and away. Got him, 102. No outlier for you, man. Hey, don't look now. That's three perfect innings for Shohei. Ball four. Come on, man. Trying to get some more run support for Otani here. No, oh, I'm late. Come on, man. Missing way too many sliders in this game. Hey, I'll take that. That brings up Machado with two on and two outs. Machado, find a way to get on base. Give Shohei the bases loaded. 3-1 count. No chance I'm swinging at this pitch. No chance. That's fine. Just get on base, Machado. 
That's terrible. Out of all the pitches I whiff on, a fastball in the upper third? Okay, starting off the fourth with a 3-2 count. I don't know what to throw to him. He is taking every close pitch. Fastball, that is not where I wanted it. Somehow it worked. Nice, there we go. Slider away, we get him to pull. Perfect execution. You know what? Let's just go way up top with the four seam. Let's go like eye level. Yes! Four perfect innings. Help yourself out a little bit here, Shohei. Full count for Otani. Come on, Shohei, don't miss a fastball. Let's go! Hanging circle change. Shohei Otani got it. Oh, I am admiring every second of this 419 foot home run. Come on, Shohei. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, imagine if I didn't miss the slider in the previous Otani at bat. This would be an amazing game so far. Perfect with Babe Ruth. No chance that's staying in. This is what we needed, man. Otani helping himself out. Babe Ruth adding to the party. Four nothing with a perfecto going through four innings. No. Yeah, you want a friendly now? Yeah. Yeah, good try. Actually, I really hope this guy doesn't quit. We're only in the fifth. Like, we, we got to get some more Shohei action. No, no, he's letting the pause timer go down. After the game that Otani is putting up, I'm going to be devastated. In my solitude. And now Otani has no energy. And I don't think you can use him in the event, right? Yeah, I don't think you can. All right, I'm quitting out of ranked games. I'm not done using Otani today. Two very boring minutes later. All right, you know what? That much energy, we should be able to get a start out of that. All right, well, getting Otani's energy back by quitting out of those games did put me back into all-star difficulty. So this leaves a lot of room for Otani to get rocked. We're going to see what we can do. We'll see if we can get Trout on a heater. No, we cannot. Why did that guy have to quit? I had a freaking perfect game going, man. All right. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. We got to have a talk. There is no way Jimmy doesn't make that play. I know he's out of position. He still has 89 fielding. This is hell. Oh, no. Why did this have to be like this? You guys have no idea the sadness that I'm feeling right now after what we just did with Otani going into this. This is painful. All right. Hey, Jimmy, we're going to make this play. Atta boy. Standing ovation for you, Jimmy. Way to step up. Throw it home. Perfect throw. Perfect throw. What a play by Babe Ruth. Oh, my God. All right, only gave up three, only. Come on, Shohei, we gotta get something back. Full count again. Come on, Shohei, don't miss it. I missed it, bro. That's the same pitch I homered on. Trout's there, though. Trout will get us back. One thing I would like to... Okay, I am... I, I can't talk through this gameplay, I guess. If I'm not fully locked in, I'm giving up a hit every single at-bat. Okay, come on, double play away now. Bro. Need this, Babe Ruth. Need this. Come on. Dude, Babe Ruth is doing everything he can to keep this lead or this deficit where it is. All right, going back to what I was trying to say at the start of that inning. Um, dude, I want to touch on the AL MVP conversation that has been going on for basically the entire season between Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani. Before I get any further in this conversation, I do feel like I need to make it very transparent. If I had a vote in the AL most valuable player voting, I would vote for Aaron Judge this year. But one thing that I absolutely hated is just going on Twitter, going on social media and seeing all of the debates and the discussions about Aaron Judge versus Shohei Otani. Because these guys both had incredible years. Aaron Judge, you know, trade, uh, Sorry, Miguel Cabrera had something to say. Aaron Judge is, you know, he was chasing the triple crown. He broke the uh, AL home run record. Just had an unbelievable offensive season. And then, of course, you have Shohei Otani doing his thing, doing what he's doing, having arguably a better season than his unanimous AL MVP season in 2021. The reason I hated reading these, like, debates and discussions online is that everybody tried to downplay the season that the other player had. Like, if you were rooting for Judge for MVP, you you would try to find some way to make Otani's case, you know, not as impressive and vice versa. Angels fans or Otani 
uh, MVP voters would do the same thing for Judge. I just wish a lot of people on the internet could just accept that these two guys are having an incredible season and you don't need to downplay the season that one of the guys had just to fit the narrative for your MVP vote. And obviously not every single person did that. I might have said everybody, but it's more like, you know, maybe like 70% of the discussions I saw. Oh, he did, what the? I'll take that. Thank you very much. Like, there are some rational baseball fans out there that, you know, could appreciate the seasons that these guys were having for what they were. But for a lot of them, I just felt like there was so much, like, like weird energy against Shohei or against Aaron Judge. Just appreciate two dudes having arguably the some of the best seasons that we've ever seen as Manny Machado gives me the lead. Anyway, that's my spiel about that whole thing. Otani's up again. Get through. Oh, I'll take it, Otani. Anything you can give me, lefty lefty, I'm down with. Hey, man. Give me that right side. I'll take advantage of it every time. Brian Reynolds off Cole Hamels. We got eight runs here in this second inning. Well, technically, we have seven runs in the second inning, but now our total's at eight. Here we go, Jimmy. Keep the inning going. Two out walk. Okay, I definitely swung. I got away with one. But instead, we all know what's gonna happen. When MLB The Show gives you a break, you get those runs right after. Yep, yeah, that's definitely a 10 spot in the second. Dude, we might get Shohei Otani another at-bat this inning. <laughs> it's still going. This inning never ends. We're getting Shohei Otani another at-bat. No, man, that was actually a pretty good slider. I, I also just completely missed. All right, Shohei, we gave you 12. Let's see if that's enough. <laughs> what do I get Jimmy with? He was just late on a fastball. I, oh, man, I don't know what to throw. I'm going to go with a cutter away. I don't know about this. Oh, it worked. All right, just got to get a double play. We'll get out of this inning. Also, for anybody that may be unaware, yes, I know I'm up by 10, but mercy rules don't go into effect until the fourth inning. Well, I could legitimately put up another, like, 10 spot in the next inning, and I would still be able to play another inning. Did we get him? Oh, going back to a cutter on 3-2. Same exact result to Miguel Cabrera. You got to get it across the diamond. Thank you. Hey, after a rough first, we got back-to-back -back zeros from Otani. Let's keep going. Let's get Otani and at-bat this inning. That works, Brian. I just went to a lefty against Babe Ruth. I mean, props to him for, you know, still trying in a game where you're down 12 in the third inning. Get through there. Come on. No, Jimmy, no. Yeah, we got to really go crazy to get Otani another shot. And we are not going to go crazy. So I think as long as I don't allow three runs this inning, this game's over. Not even an attempt. Go up with a four seam again. Oh, Reynolds. We can take this away. That doesn't seem like it's hit too far over the fence. Oh, man. That was close. Way to bounce back. So now one more out, and we should have the win, right? Unless he scores another run. Honestly, I would not be opposed to letting him get another run. I'd, I'd be down if he wants to keep going and let Otani get one more AB. I'm literally throwing him four seams down the middle. Come on, man. Ah! I tried to give him stuff to hit. All right, well, yeah, I think that's where we're done with Shohei for the video. I'm not going to quit out of another three ranked games to get him more energy. One last note, whether or not Otani is the best card in the game or underwhelming, whatever you think of him. For me, as an Angels fan, as a big Otani fan, I'm just excited that I finally get to use a 99 overall version. And to me, that's what's fun about Diamond Dynasty this year, getting to use the cards you want to use. But you're going to see a lot more of 99 Otani on the channel coming up. <laughs>